welcome back to another surf guide video. In this video, I will guide you to one of the best right-hander waves in the world, to Pulau Nias in Lagundri Bay to Soraka Beach. Nias has two main destinations for surfers. One is Asu. In this video, I am going to talk more about Lagundri Bay. Lagundri Bay is 30 kilometers from the equator, so it's pretty much a perfect tropic paradise with no wind around the equator. But because of this, it can be also unpredictable stormy days where the wind turns onshore. The good part is that the point in Lagundri Bay still works in onshore and it gets even less crowded. To get to the island you have two options. One is to fly from Medan, which is an international airport in Sumatra, or fly from Jakarta. Garuda Airlines and Lion Air is flying every day. From the airport you have to take a taxi to Lagundri Bay, which is a two and a half hour drive and it costs 400,000 rupees. In Lagundri Bay there is three waves, but I am going to talk more about the main point. The wave at the main point has the easiest pedal out I ever saw. The locals build a concrete road basically on the coral reef, so you can just walk and jump into the deep ocean at the keyhole. There is no waves breaking, even if it's like double overhead you can use this entry. And then it's a 20 meter puddle to the main peak. so perfect that the main point that it works all tied and it works even in onshore. It handles from 1 feet to 15 feet all swell directions. With 15 to 20 people it's still surfable. If it's more than 20 people in the lineup it start to get really frustrated. Most of the local kids they go to school so they only surf early morning and late evenings or afternoons. So if you go after breakfast or lunchtime it gets much more or less people in the water. The wave breaks in such a deep water that you're never gonna hit the reef and in lower tide it can still produce some beautiful barrels. In Lagundri Bay you can find plenty of homestays. Most of the homestays they offer three times a meal including in the price which is around three, four, five hundred thousand rupees per day. The earthquakes and tsunami are present in this area. In 2004 and 5, they registered the second biggest earthquake in the last 100 years in Indonesia here, which produced a tsunami with 10 meter waves and unfortunately 120 people were killed. You can rent motorbikes here with board rack, cost 100,000 rupees. On the south part of the island you find plenty of waves which doesn't even have a name. One of these really fun and famous waves is Rockstar. It's a half an hour motor drive from Soraka Beach. Mostly the wave is empty or only a few people on it. But it also doesn't handle a crowd. Maximum five to six people. The wave itself works mid to high tides. In high tide it's fun to do some turns. In lower tide you can get some fun barrels. But it gets shallow. The water is a little bit dirty here because the villagers build all the houses next to the ocean and all the dirt and trash goes into the ocean. Staying in Nias for 2-3 weeks is the perfect time because you can score multiply swells. It's definitely the best in the dry season, but June, July, August produce also the biggest crowds, but you can also get the biggest waves. It's a good tip to avoid the last week of the Ramadan because when I was there the local kids had a school holiday, so they were surfing every day, all day long, and that made the crowd even bigger. But other than that, if you are talking with the locals and buy some coconuts sometimes from them, they are super happy with you, they're gonna remember you after one day. So just be nice and follow the rules in the water and you're gonna get your waves. Thanks for watching the video. I will put a link below in the description about Sita and Petra's place, Jamburi Lodge. This is one of the nicest lodges around this area. Also, if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Feel free to visit my Patreon channel and thank you for the support.